So I'm in uh, River Rouge, Michigan, here in uh, the tail end of Down River here, and I'm heading into Detroit, uh, Delray, Detroit, uh, which if you're looking at a map, you're going north. I'm going north uh, on Jefferson, uh, kind of right by the river. Um, and a little bit about uh, Delray, Detroit is uh, United States uh, company right there. Yeah, there's a lot of industry here in Delray, Detroit, and actually, we're, this is still considered Rouge right here. Um, over the drawbridge right here is uh, Delray, Detroit. So, so this drawbridge right here, uh, right there's the Rouge River, right there. And now we're officially in uh, the city of Detroit, and uh, Delray is actually just a portion uh, of the city of Detroit. So, um, it might be considered Southwest Detroit. It's really Southeast Detroit, I guess. Uh, but it's Delray. I mean, uh, that's what it goes by. So, there's a lot of industry down here and uh, water treatment, uh, water resource uh, recovery over here. So, um, Evans Distribution Center. Um, and one thing about Delray is it used to be back, you know, in the 40s, 50s, and maybe even the 60s, it was a it was a thriving little town, uh, thriving little neighborhood, I should say. And uh, there were I forget what the things that what the like 24,000 people resided here. Now it's only in maybe a couple a couple thousand or something like that. And my numbers might be off a little bit because I just checked it a couple days ago. I forgot what the exact number uh, was of the population decline but according to many people it's the closest thing to a ghost town in a city that they've seen i, I forgot where that quote came from I don't know if it was like a michigan uh government officials or what it is but um a lot of industry here in fact uh u.s steel is right there and that's uh zug island right over there and we'll be coming we'll be approaching an entrance here soon to zug island um, and um, at one time, back in the 70s, I believe it was voted one of the most polluted places on Earth, uh, that uh, Zug Island. So, uh, not the cleanest air around here. They've had a history of uh, air quality problems. Uh, let me see. This is not the. This is not a bridge here. Uh, uh, yeah, you really gotta watch the bumps around here too because they are prevalent. And as you can see there, it's not, I mean, this is uh, uh, the couch right there. You know, this isn't, not the nicest neighborhood for sure. It's, uh, you know, ghost town and also a lot of, you know, kind of uh, run down and you know, not, uh, it's not a lot of stuff down here. So, but going back to U.S. Steel, so you, this is a, uh, you know, that's Zug Island, and they don't make, uh, they don't actually make steel there anymore. Uh, but U.S. Steel, it goes from, uh, the, and it's, it used to be Great Lakes Steel, and now it's just the Great Lakes Division or whatever, uh, part of U.S. Steel. But uh, it goes from Ecorse, Michigan, which is uh, just south of here, uh, into River Rouge, and uh, and now in, and into Delray, Detroit. And they laid off in uh laid off probably like 80 or 90 percent of the company so uh u.s steel really doesn't operate that much anymore they don't make steel they just do sampling and you know very little usage but anyways the reason why i bring up u.s steel is that's a big uh part of delray detroit that's uh you think of delray detroit you think of zug island and you think of misery because <laughs> I, i've been to zug island once when i worked at u.s steel and it's uh it's it's not as bad as what people think because they have cleaned it up uh, considerably within the past uh, 20, 30 years, but it's it's not the most uplifting place, let's just say that. So I was actually uh, in the process of making a video a couple days ago and uh, there's a train right here so I couldn't do the full, uh, the full Delray uh, video. So um, this is the only bar left in Delray, Detroit. I don't know if it has, I don't know if it's ever called anything else or anything, but Black Horse Cantina, 
Um, I've never been there. That's uh, that goes to to Zug Island. That bridge right there, and you gotta watch these tracks. Oh boy. Oh boy. Honey. I feel the pain of my. I feel the pain that my car just fell just now. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So this is uh this is all of, uh, what's left of Delray, Detroit. I mean, and the roads down there are rough. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of weeds. Oh, there's a fire place right there. Um, and there was a business. Of, that was the Delray Fire Station. I think that's still put to use. And I'll drive past uh, over there in a second. And there's a, like a, some store or something that's left. But yeah, that was the that was the downtown though. And you, like I said, it used to be a, a Hungarian, a hung, Hungarians, uh, you know, down there that had a really thriving neighborhood and a cool little downtown. But it was um, that's long gone now. Right here is uh, the development of uh, the Gordy Howe Bridge that's going to be going in, and that's going to be. Uh, um, a bridge connecting Detroit uh, to Windsor, Ontario, Canada, and uh, they're they've been working on this for they've been working on it for quite some time. Just because uh, of COVID, they got uh, stalled, uh, kind of stalled for, because of COVID. But they're putting in a lot of work, and they tore out a lot of houses um, in order to uh, build this Gordy Howe Bridge. Um, that's what's going to be called the Gordy Howe Bridge, and. Um, and for those of you who don't know, we're watching, we're listening. Gordy Howe is uh, an iconic hockey player in the in, uh, for the Detroit Red Wings back in the 50s and 60s. And he played forever, but he passed away a few years ago and was one of the greatest uh, hockey players of all time. Um, this is historic Fort Wayne right here. Um, a lot of historic uh, buildings about uh, in uh, about the wars and uh, there's uh, battles here. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about it. I'd like to walk through one of these days and really give uh, uh, you know kind of give myself a self-guided tour. Uh, but a lot of the buildings are they're very old and very decrepit, and it's kind of cool that they uh, they left them the way they were. Like this one's falling apart, but. I think it's kind of cool that they didn't remodel and redo this and redo that and blah, 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 just for the sake of, uh, you know, I, just kind of give keep the history as opposed to uh, having a fake history. I mean, I think that's, uh, I think that's pretty cool in the way, in the way of which they did that. So that's historic Fort Wayne right there. And this is the Gordy Howe Bridge, and when it's all said and done, um, hopefully they fix the road. I mean, <laughs> that'd be a step in the right direction for sure. But um, yeah, it'll be a, maybe it'll, it'll bring some uh, life back to Delray, having the Gordy Howe Bridge and historic Fort Wayne right here. Um, I think it'd be really cool if uh, if this was a thriving place once again. There's a border patrol. You see a lot of border patrols in this area in general just because Canada's right there. And not far from here. And it's and being that the ghost being a uh, the ghost town that it is around here, I mean, you do see uh, you know, cops aren't really prevalent, even though there was a cop right there, but you don't see a whole lot of cops in this area. But that was Delray, Detroit. I'm heading back uh Head back south now on a beautiful March 1st day. It's about like 50 and 50 degrees out and sunny. Um, but yeah. Oh boy, still bumpy, still bumpy. But yeah, if you like this uh, video, then hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one, next video.